I'm going to make a copy of this. And I will call it descendants. So I just take the names of my students from the Disney movie into a, um, and I just cut and paste. Bam. There we go. All right. Do the same. Done. Now let's send this to the live form or just go to the live form. Normally I would send this to all the students. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go to the live form, which is here. So I'm going to start with Mel. Who would choose Ben, the prince, as her first choice? And she would choose, mm, as her second choice, I'm going to say she would choose Evie. Okay, and I'll repeat this for all the other people. Okay, so we've put everyone in there and we've got things. Now I'm going to create a spreadsheet. Create it. Now I have source and targets. I just have to go like this, make a selection, and I'm going to download as a CSV. There we go. And I'll just put that, I'll save that to my desktop. There we go, we have our information. Now I'm gonna go into Gephi. Okay, so here's Gephi. Let's import some data. Okay, so import spreadsheet. Perfect. Let's choose one. Excellent. Desktop. The sentence responses. There we go. Now we're gonna we're gonna take these in as an edges table. This is really important because we're looking at the edges there. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Okay. Next. So we don't need a timestamp. That's irrelevant. We're done. Finish. There we go. Now, let's go into a preview of this. Nothing. Let's go into, there's the, there's the data. Now, this does not look really helpful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some physics. We're gonna use, uh, let's try a force atlas first and then see what happens. Not so much. So let's take a Fruchterman Rheingold, which will kind of push everything to the edges. And there we go. We can sort of see that there's something happening here. Now, we can also drag them physically, so we can stop this. And from there we see that if we, if we take a moment to kind of drag things. Then we have um, something interesting happen. You'll see that over here, we have sort of a splinter group. Everybody's connected in this group because they're gonna be, but uh, some people are less connected than others. So we'll take a look at who everybody is. And we're gonna do this by uh, starting to give some weight. So I'm gonna give it to degrees eh, by in degree. So that's how many people link to them.
that'll give them some weight. So we'll give them a maximum size of 10. Apply that. Look what happens. A minimum size of 5 and a maximum size of 20. Let's make it a bit bigger because there's not a lot of people here. Okay, so there we see some different things. We can see who are more and less important characters. And you'll notice that one character seems to be the most important. Now, you don't see any labels here, no? So let's give it a... Let's give the nodes some... Um, some more information here. And look at the preview. Okay, so node labels. Show labels. Refresh. Okay. Let's do something here in the data laboratory. Let's copy. Actually, let's copy this ID. Copy from ID, copy to label. Okay. There we go. And now let's look at preview again. Refresh. There we go. And there you see right away that um, we can see that some people are sort of a little bit further away. And uh, that's a quick uh, graph of how it works. You can see that Ben is actually better connected than, say, Doug, Carlos, Jay is a little bit better. Jane is kind of the connector, the daughter of the fairy godmother. And there's a little triangle here happening, and there's a sort of a bigger group here with Mal. And uh, how is this useful? We'll take a look at how it can be useful uh, later on. But right now, this is just to show you how you can make the graph pretty easily.